we are out recovering from leg day. It was crazy. Go get him. Go get him. Um, you guys are like me. You love leg day. You would not be doing this if you didn't love leg day. Uh, some of the notes, let's go over this. Um, you guys were stronger than ever. I get that. That's because we dropped the rep range a bit. You took the time. You know, you can come down now a little bit on the time relative to the first four weeks. You can go down a little quicker. Um, but again, not so fast that you fatigue or throw up or anything like that, all right? Still go, do your thing. Um, take your time on the squats. And what I mean by that is in between sets, it's still okay to wait three minutes on that and then speed up a little bit after that if you want to get down to a minute and a half and you got a time schedule. Uh, something I want you guys to make sure that you do is I want you to have enough uh, strength to finish this workout. So if some of you that are advanced, let's say you're really advanced and you want to split up the leg workout, quads in the morning, hamstrings later, that's okay. Um, or if you want to reverse it, let's say you have overdeveloped quads and you don't have a lot for the hamstrings, start with hamstrings, then go into quads. This is something completely different and it's not on the app, but it's something I do a lot of because my I need bigger hamstrings relative to my quads are monstrous. So these are little changes. Try those today. Stay on the cardio. Yes, you're doing cardio today, even though you train legs, um, and stay on the nutrition plan. Do not do this. Do not change up your nutrition plan just because you trained legs. A lot of people are probably thinking, hey, I should have more calories because I changed it. No, the calories don't change because you train changed legs. We are dieting in a sense right now. We want to look better. This is what we're doing it for. Stay with it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.